In this video, we'll use the Alteryx filter tool to remove unwanted information from a data set. As we noted in the last video, when we look at our results window, we can see plenty of information within the fixed asset list Excel file that isn't useful for our purpose of computing depreciation. Let's use the filter tool to remove unwanted rows. Locate the blue preparation menu and drag the filter tool until it connects to the input data tool. If it doesn't connect automatically, click on the output anchor of the input data tool and drag the connection over to the input anchor of the filter tool. Leave the basic filter radio button selected. In the select field box, which is the first box, click the drop down arrow and select field F7. In the condition box, which is the second box, click the drop down arrow and select is not null. The steps we have just completed tell Alteryx to remove all rows where field F7 is not blank. In other words, accumulated depreciation is not blank. Go ahead and run your workflow and hit OK. In the results tab, you can see what observations were kept in the true condition. A really useful feature for you and reviewers of your work is that you can also click on the false list to see what we didn't keep. Some descriptive information along with non-depreciable assets like land. We could also use the output anchors of the filter tool to see this information in the results window. Good job, you've now filtered out some unwanted rows. In the next video, we're going to use the dynamic rename tool to get a header row into our dataset.